This week on Agatha All Along, the slow car crash continues as we watch an actual car crash unfold. After last week's episode wound down, we ended with a cliffhanger, the mysterious teen boy finally showing his true form. Oh, all we got is he wears a crown that looks oddly familiar to Wanda Maximoff's, aka the Scarlet Witch. And today's episode tells us exactly how we got here, and I'm going to tell you how we got here right now on another spoiler-filled episode of Agatha All Along. Before I go down the witch's road once more, if you wouldn't mind going down to the subscribe button and just popping that thing really quick, it's free of charge for you. You could hit the notification bell to take it a step further. And then future versions of myself will appear in your feed. And I would appreciate it. All right, well, this show never ceases to amaze me with how disappointing it can get. Every time we have the potential to go somewhere fascinating, it drops the ball. This is going to be an episode entirely dedicated to Joe Locke's character, known merely as Teen up until this point. But he's going to get two more names by the time this thing winds down. What we have here, friends, is a tale of two Billies. One is the very real boy named William. I think his name is William. I just watched the show and I already forgot. That name doesn't really matter, though. Because William, he's going to go bye-bye. And in his stead is going to be Billy Maximoff. That's right. It was a Maximoff all along. Well, not really all along. It became a Maximoff after Wanda's spell goes kaput. Now, as we all remember, Wanda Maximoff gave birth to two beautiful baby boys, twins, while playing house in the town of Westview that she took over for her own sick fantasies. These two beautiful boys grew up right before our very eyes. Very rapidly so, because it was all made through magic. But unfortunately, Wanda learned that she needed to let go, and that's exactly what she did. She got rid of the spell over the town, and that meant the kids were gonna go away as well. Cease to exist. That's what they would have us believe. Even Scarlet Witch thought her kids were dead, but they're not. Billy, using the power of his mind, was able to warg through the air and find another body for him to take hold of. And that's where William, or whatever that kid's name is, comes into play. He's celebrating. He became a man in the Jewish culture. And so he's just living his life, dancing with friends, hanging out with the fam, going to get his palm read or his future told or whatever. Hey, that's the lady from Agatha. Lily is gonna do a reading on the kid, but it doesn't get very far when she realizes, whoa, we got a split personality thing going on here. This dude is about to become another dude. So thinking fast, she grabs a little wood chip piece, doodles on it, which makes a sigil, and she puts it in his pocket. Immediately, of course, forgetting that she created the sigil because that's how it works. That's right, Patty Lapoon is the reason why this kid could not speak his name, revealing his true identity. Identity. This was like a 35-minute episode to pretty much give us nothing more than that. Truly a tedious piece of TV here, folks. I mentioned a car crash. That's the last exciting thing that happens in this episode as they're driving back to Westview because Wanda's magic is starting to go away. This is when Billy enters the body of teenage boy William. That maybe came out wrong. We'll get to the gay stuff later. But for now, Billy goes inside the body. The mom and dad are distracted. They swerve off the road and crash into a tree. Thankfully, no one is killed. But someone new has been reborn. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Billy is now born anew inside of this new body he has contained himself into. But he doesn't technically know he's in the body yet, so we're going to spend a painstaking amount of time getting there. He's going to the hospital, told he has amnesia, he's hearing voices in his head. But much like Celine Dion, it's all coming back to me now, he says. And he starts to remember. You know what really got him there? That Fucking Witches Road song that they played for like the fourth time on this show. In his room, a record starts playing the Witches Road. My God, how many variants of this song can I hear? Down that Witches Road, 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 Road. Down that Witches Road. We're going down that Witches Road tonight. We're going down that Witches Road, all right. Ooh, witch's road, down that witch's road, witch's road, wherever he may go. Ooh. 
I came into this witch as a reject. Look into this yet span. One witch since you went down that road. Down that witch's road and nah, 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 nah. Some witch once told me the road was gonna roll me. And I ran down that witch's road. Down that witch's road. <laughs> What was I even talking about anymore? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so back to the episode. He finds out who he is, and then he makes out with his boyfriend in the car for a while. He's going to tell him he loves Billy, but Billy's like, oh, mm, 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 mm. Not the time, because I'm actually someone else. Come with me. He's got all these clippings out, trying to figure out what actually happened to the town of Westview. They were told it was an Avengers exercise. That's bullshit! <laughs> we all know the government's behind this. They can control the weather. Social media told me that. Jesus. He and his boy toy head to the parking garage where they're going to meet up with someone who was under the witch's spell. He tells her about her a little bit. They talk about Agatha for a while. Then we do some more research. He's going through articles. Oh, Agatha is this crazy psycho bitch who's been around for a million years. She's killed a bunch of people here and there and hither and thither. I should wake her up so that I can learn more about her. And then we finally catch up. Where Katherine Hahn's back in the mix. She's playing that detective role that we all hated so much. Person the lips. So, overacting like crazy. Yeah, it's part of the character. I don't care. It's, it's just tough to watch. What'd you say you're doing here? Arms always out here for some reason in this show. She's always like this. After some interrogation. Short, of course, for interrogation. We get a recap of a bunch of different things that happened all at once to get us to where we are now at in episode six. It's just fast forwarding through it all. <laughs> That's what happened. Agatha, who was thrown in the muck, pulls herself out. She's the only one to do such. And she has convinced little Billy that they need to team up still for some reason, even though Billy keeps reiterating, I don't need you, lady. Tries to do some magic. It doesn't work. But he begrudgingly says yes. I'm not sure why, honestly. But yeah, they're going to go down that witch's road one last time together, but not before Hagatha goes up to him and says, last one there is a good person. And then she walks away, saunters away, really. In which Billy replies to her back, I'm not that good of a person. Mm. Or something. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what he says, but it's, it's stupid. And this episode was uh, incredibly lackluster. You know, it started out okay. I was like, all right, we have a more serious tone again, which is weird. This show's tone is all over the place. But then it gets silly and stupid again when Agatha shows up doing her detective thing. And ultimately, it spends so much time just moving us forward an inch. It's, it's ridiculous how long they spent doing this. And listen, we can spend time with this character, but there has to be some emotion behind it. I felt nothing for this guy. He's a perfectly pleasant teenage boy, but shit, we don't do anything there. Like, I didn't get to see him say goodbye to his parents, his real parents that are no longer his real parents because Billy's now the, the person controlling the body. But, like, there should have been some emotion there. This should have been a sad, really awful thing that happened. Like, he took someone else's life from them. And he took that kid from the parents. I felt nothing. But that's really just this show in general and most of these Disney Plus shows. I will say, Agatha all along is at least watchable. It's just a very easy, lame show that you can sit through. Some of the other ones that were longer lost me three or four episodes in. Moon Knight couldn't finish it. Miss Marvel could not finish it. They started out fine and the characters were good enough, but God, these, these shows are so bloated with nothing interesting to say. And here we are again with Agatha. At least they have the wherewithal to make it short. That's, that's the best compliment I can give it. Okay, there's the recrap of episode six or whatever we're on of this thing. Not sure where they're going with it. The, the plot now is getting to the end of the witch's road in the hopes that Billy can find his twin brother and that Agatha can, I guess, rise to her true power. And one of the, these are the two that are going to fight each other. 
I, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Let me know your thoughts, though, if you're still watching this show, if you think I'm too hard on it, or if you think I'm not hard enough. <laughs> Let me know. Please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm super mature and post tons of movie reviewed TV show commentary when I can. And if you love what I'm doing, maybe think about supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Tons of different tiers and offers. It's a good deal for everyone involved. I would love if you joined. Time to go down that witch's road again till next week. Down that witch's. Give me witches, give me roads, give me that which I desire. <laughs> Never made it as a Wiccan. Couldn't cut it as a poor witch stealing. This is how you remind me of what I really am. I'm running down that witch's road. I'm gonna try to find my twin brother. Find my twin brother. And I ran down that witch's road. A fucking witch's road. Ding, 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 ding.